You know it. I'm addicted to Casey's coffee. So, today we need to get some baling done. We need to bale some straw and we need to bale some grass. Let's get to it. We're just driving by the dealership. Oh, what is that orange tractor there? What the heck is that thing? Let's go look at this thing quickly. I haven't seen one of these around the local area. A nice looking a DT220. That cool. Looks almost like the Massey Ferguson's inside. Probably almost exactly like. We got uh, Giants FM on the radio. Got a little uh, sun visor or sunroof. Pretty nice. Oh, look at that. They left the key in it. Oh, wrong choice. Yeah, pretty nice. I like how most of the controls are like right here by your arm. Some of them are right here, so they're out of your view. But you got your heads up display, you got your forward, reverse, and neutral switch. Looks like a, a home button. Must be for calibration your display there. Hmm. Pretty nice. Maybe. If we beg and push and borrow, maybe we can get this as a demo. We are going to have to do some uh, field tillage. But we need to get to baling. Looks like squad got a field done right there. So we got some soybeans already harvested. If you don't know, we finally got our wheat harvested. That was a long task. That field, I am definitely going to cut up that field into sections. I did lose some of the straw off of it, so that's not too bad of an ordeal because I have a lot of straw still on the ground. So I plan on uh, doing some round baling and some little squares on that. So we got to give us, give our new uh, round baler and our little square baler a good look around. And then we need to get to the field. So this will be our straw that we will be uh, round baling in little squares. Hopefully I can get that done and start cutting down our grass field out in front of our house behind our lot just pulling over here don't want to miss our turn so we need to we'll first go take the duels off our 4960 so I did if you guys look I cleaned up our lot a lot it was a mess I got our uh, beast of a combine put away in our grain cart everything put away so I want to take the duels off this 4960 so I can put it on the round baler I know this is overkill but this is all I got so let's get this to the shop so this is basically the only shop I have unless I want to take it to my garage. I know, I know. I need to rectify that. So let's get these duels off. Alright, so them duels are not light. But we got them off. So let's get this hooked up to the baler. Just driving around here, make sure we don't hit our good old top kit there truck. Hook up to our 568 round baler. 
All right, now that's all hooked up, ready to go. I'm gonna shut this tractor off for now. So while this dew is slightly coming off, I think I'm gonna hook up my uh, 4020 to the little square baler. All right, driving this over here. Gonna hook this up to the baler. So we're gonna be baling the straw first, depending how much we get done. We may get to the disc vine and cutting down some of our grass. I didn't end up having to borrow Jake's and Austin's uh, self-propelled 8060. At least not for now. So I want to try out my disc vine. So this looks all hooked up. Got them all grease. Now. Let's get to the field. All right, so we got the round baler to the field here. Let's see if this thing starts up. Everything's running good, so don't want to get close to a round baler while it's running. We're keeping our distance and making sure there isn't no weird noises. Everything seems to be going all right. Let's lower this head and uh, there we go. So I'm really happy with how everything's going with this baler. Everything seems to be going good. We're gonna get a lot of round bales, that's for sure. So easily rolling up. We're getting a lot of straw right here. Looks like the bales will be about just about a half ton. Just finishing up this roll here. I think after this roll, I'll start little square baling. I want to make sure I get enough little squares, and then I'm going to round bale the rest of this. Round baler is working perfectly. So I don't know exactly how many round bales we got, but they are littered all over this field. This 4960, of course, is pulling this baler easily. Getting a lot of done, but I got a lot of straw here to bail. Alright, so we're gonna shut this uh, baler off right here. Pick up the head. All right, we'll shut this tractor down. And uh, I'm gonna have to walk back and get our 4020. Oh, man. All right, walking up here, our 4020. So we'll get start putting some little squares. I uh, plan on uh, selling these. So, hobby farms. Uh, other people that want them for crafts and everything like that they bring a little bit more money more money in our pocket I do have a plan for the other round some of the other round bales at least have a little surprise plan we'll see if that c 
comes to tuition. All right, so we'll unfold this. Start this up. Once again, make sure you keep your distance when you're going around these bailers. Don't need to lose any arms and limbs. All right, jump back in the tractor. Lower the header down. Start bailing here. Man, oh man, are we putting a lot of little bales down on the ground. Wish they would all fall correctly. It would make them easier to pick up. This is a little bit slower running than the round baler, of course. Because you want to get at least... You want to try to get at least, uh, I think it's 10 to 12 strokes per bale to make it uh, peel correctly should get a pretty good price for these we're just gonna have to have the pain of picking all these up gotta slow down for this big clump put some bales on top of each other like they happen Got the shadow of the sun coming up in the morning there. Beautiful day. going along here so this will probably be our last row we'll do we'll have uh, four rows total of little squares don't want to get too many little squares mostly gonna be round bale this field but I do not know how many I have but there is a lot and little turds are everywhere on this field that's good it's probably good money in our pocket shooting a mouse so quick that this thing can uh, keep up with how quick it's going so a lot of them are on in not turn out directly straight up but that's okay so bailing along yeah I think I'm gonna hang it up once I get to the end of this roll I I would imagine we have over 500 bales, little squares, not round bales, that would be a ton. But maybe if we round bale this whole field, this field is gigantic. I'm gonna cut this up, just don't want that many, uh, want smaller fields for my equipment. This is a little bit too large. Uh, some of the hillsides uh, get, don't get kind of drought and some of the low places need waterways so I'm going to be planting some waterways in it at least haven't exact decided just how I'm going to do it alright so that is the last of the little square bales for the straw 
this part over here we just ended up spreading so I'm gonna try to round bale the rest of this field I'm gonna take this tractor over to the side bailing along here it looks like we are on the fourth to the last row I have no idea how many bales I probably should have purchased a bale counter but we definitely have a lot of bales on this field got them spread out everywhere I'm kind of glad these bales don't roll too bad so this is a very hilly spot here. I'm not having too many, too much difficulty with bales rolling. So pretty glad that's not an issue. Otherwise, I might dent my truck that's at the bottom of the hill there. Don't want to dent a ram. This baler takes all that straw, even them big mounds like that. It easily just gulfs it all up. So I'm glad we can get this done because I really need to get this uh, plowed or uh, disked up. So hopefully I can plant some uh, waterways, some winter uh, grass put in so I can uh, get basically my fields next year plotted out. So we're headed down here. So we're making great time so far and this is our last roll so this is finally our last roll of straw we have to do just have to make it to the end of the field and we are done this baler had no issues whatsoever it's almost out of bale wrap but I think we'll be able to make it to the end I have no idea how many bales there is out there, but they are littered all over this place. Bales over there. Bales over there. Bales behind us. So, got a lot of straw. I'm kind of glad I wasn't able to bale this whole field because I'd be here all day. And I still got a do a surprise so I plan on doing a surprise probably have to empty off the uh, flatbed trailer over there that should be the last so we'll shut off the baler here pick up the head man is that baler dirty so I'm going to put this to the side of the field and then we're going to go grab our dodge on the flatbed trailer start picking up bales. Alright I'm backing this up to our gooseneck. We're going to hopefully uh, load them up on our gooseneck here. Let's get this to the field start loading. So we're picking up the bales here. Let me tell you, this is back-breaking work. Don't have no one to help move the, the truck here. Picking them up. Man. Have many memories doing this in the field. Don't know, my parents used to own a custom uh, small baling business. Dad used to always tell me, if you're picking up the bales by hand, you're losing money. I wonder if we're losing money. We always had a self-propelled stacker, New Holland stacker, and that did all of our uh, picking up the bales. Never had to pick them up like this by hand. 
definitely get your workout doing it this way. We have probably over 500 bales to do. Man, do we have the job up in front of us. I don't know about you guys, but I am exhausted. Still picking up all these bales. This is probably not the easiest way to do it. There we go, pick them up on this side too. Whew, getting burned out. I used to remember my uh, high school football coach said I was big because uh, he used to always stack small square bales. Literal did he know I barely touched the small square bales. I just worked during the summer. That's how I got big. Alright, so we got a big enough load for this. So we're going to head over to the horse ranch. We are flying through this field. We probably should slow down a little bit. Don't want to hit a bale with the old Dodge here. I keep saying I'm going to slow down and not slow down. So we got 204 bales. Just probably need one more load. We'll be done with the little squares. Well, it looks like we dropped a bale here. We better go pick that up. Don't know how I dropped that bale. See, I don't know why the baler doesn't hold them all up. It's supposed to have a sidekick where they're sitting straight up. Like this one on the end is. So... It makes it easier for the New Holland self-propelled stackers to pick them up that way. Some stackers are made to pick up like this, but it usually seems like the twine gets uh, cut up more doing it that way. This isn't bad. Last bale. There we go. Now before we leave, so we don't throw them all over the place, we're going to strap these down. So it looks like we have 79 bales. Be glad when these are done so we can get to the round bales. Austin and Jake started a cattle business. So I thought beans they're gonna need some straw I would deliver straw to them not gonna tell them I'm doing this I'm just going to leave it there I'm pretty sure they'll be able to notice they have straw I don't know why I'm going so quickly here for the field but thought I'd just give them a load of straw that way they can uh, use it for bedding feeding I don't think they were able to get any straw this year so this is more just a favor. I'm probably going to put a couple loads over there for them. But I'm not going to tell them I'm going to do this. I'm just going to leave it there. They probably won't even know. They'll probably just think one or the other did it. And I uh, have no idea. But this way they can start their business out. Not have any issues. Head down the road. Man, are we loaded got 26 of these big round bales on us. I'm gonna pull over here. So I believe this is the place. Man, I hope this is the place they bought because it's gonna be a little bit awkward if it isn't. I guess another uh, rancher will have some uh, straw bales. Oh yeah. That looks like uh, Jake's truck right there. So want to leave them. 
think I'll leave them right over here to the side. There we go. All the bales are unloaded. So, I'm just going to do this as a favor. I'm pretty sure they're going to notice that they have a whole bunch of straw bales. Looks like they have some grass bales here. On their own trailer there. But this way, they have a humongous... They have plenty of, of straw here. Thought this would be a good favor. Paying it forward for helping me out during my harvest. So thank you all for watching. And I will see you later here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.